hello dear students in this lecture we are going to discuss the topic speciation which comes in evolutionary genetics what is a species it is a group of interbreeding or potentially interbreeding individuals darwin in his book on the origin of species explained that as one species changes over time it branches to form more than one new species repeatedly as long as the population survives or until the organism becomes extinct so here in this picture you can see darwin's illustration that how one species of elephant is giving rise to uh, the other and from the second one more than one species has formed for speciation to occur the two new populations must be formed from one original population and they must evolve in such a way that it becomes impossible for individuals from the two new populations to interbreed so the main important point for speciation to occur is that reproductive isolation should occur between these two populations so that they do not interbreed among themselves speciation occurs because of splitting of one ancestral species into two new descendant species and the mechanisms by which speciation occurs they fall into two uh, broad categories these two broad categories are allopatric speciation and sympatric speciation so allopatric speciation is uh means that it involves geographical isolation so that the two um, separated populations they are isolated by a geographical barrier and that is why they are not able to interbreed among themselves because the reproduction isolation develops with course of time so as the definition says allo means other and patric means homeland allopatric speciation it in involves geographic separation of populations from a parent species and subsequent evolution then the other category is sympatric speciation it involves uh, um, it stops interbreeding of uh, individuals because although they are living in the same area but they uh, de develop genetic uh, morphology um, uh, differentiation from the original population so it involves speciation occurs within a parent species remaining in one location then the other uh, there is one more speciation that is called parapatric speciation and these populations they occupy distinct niches in their environment and are thus separated by ecological factors while sympatric species they share the same ecological niche so this is how we differentiate between sympatric and parapatric that sympatric uh, species they occupy the same area they uh, live in the same location but in parapatric uh, they do not share the same ecological niche parapatric they live in uh, the a separate ecological niche and when a small group of individual breaks off from the from a larger group they form a new species this is called peripatric speciation so peripatric speciation is smaller than parapatric speciation at a smaller level so here in this picture you can see that in uh, allopatric speciation you can see that um, there is a original population then the a geographical barrier occurs which separates these two populations and then reproductive isolation happens and these two populations they are unable to interbreed with each other and then they form two new different species in para in in then uh, uh, we differentiate allopatric from sympatric so in sympatric uh, speciation you can see that there is a original population then there is genetic polymorphism so 
uh, occurs in some uh, individuals or, or a small population and so they are unable to breed with themselves and then they form a two new species then we see what is parapetric so in parapetric you can see that there, there is a original population and then there is a separate niche which is formed uh, and then these two populations they get separated because of these separate niches and then they form two new species and then last is peripetric which is at a smaller level so peripetric may you can also see that a new niche is formed but at a smaller level compared to parapetric and then uh, then these two separate they are unable to interbreed with themselves and two new species are formed so this is the pictorial description uh, how these different what is speciation process occurs it occurs when a species separates into two separate groups which are isolated from one another if this happens because of a physical barrier such as mountain range or waterway or uh, so that this uh, barrier say it is a mountain or a river it makes it impossible for them to breed with one another because of this physical barrier the species are unable to breed with one another and then each species develops differently based on the demands of their unique habitat or the genetic characteristics of the group that are passed on to the offspring so this is allopatric speciation which happens due to physical uh, uh, physical distance or due to a barrier which isolates the two population then when a small group of individuals break off from this large group and form a new species this is called peripatric speciation so we do we always differentiate between allopatric and peripatric speciation peripatric speciation this also happens because of physical barrier but as um, but at a smaller level than allopatric speciation so allopatric speciation uh, can happen due to these four reasons a river forming a new branch erosion forming a new valley group of organisms traveling to a new location without ability to return seeds flowing over the ocean to an island so the nature of geographic separation necessary to isolate population depends entirely on the biology of the organism and its potential for dispersal now allopatric processes fall into two categories uh, dispersal and uh, viscerians dispersal is when a few members of species move to a new geographical area and Vesarians is when a natural situation arises to physically divide uh, organisms. For example, if two flying insect populations took up residence in separate nearby valleys, chances are individuals from each population would fly back and uh, continue gene flow. And the second example is that, uh, say, if two rodent populations uh, become divided by the formation of a new lake then uh, this continued gene flow is unlikely and therefore speciation would occur because there is a physical barrier because of this river so the rodents will not be able to come to the original place and so the separated ones will form a new species uh, then there is a term which is related to adaptive radiation so this what is adaptive radiation this is in some cases a population of uh, one species disperses throughout an area and each finds a distinct niche or isolated habitat over time the varied demands of their new lifestyle leads to multiple speciation events originating from a new species and this is called adaptive radiation because many adaptations evolve from a single point of origin thus causing the species to radiate into several new ones so here you can see the example that there is a founder species 
and this founder species has given rise to so many new species so uh, this is also example of uh, here you can see that hawaiian honey creepers illustrates one example of adaptive radiation from a single species called founder species new species have evolved as an island archipelagos like hawaiian islands provide an index ideal context for adaptive radiation events because water surrounds each island which leads to geographical isolation for many organisms now what is sympatric speciation uh, the process of speciation within the same space is called sympatric speciation say a number of mechanism for uh, sympatric speciation have been proposed and studies and examples are um, uh, it happens because of prezygotic reproductive isolation or post zygotic barrier and example is say a polyploid has developed so the polyploid is unable to um, um, hybridized with the diploid organism and so it will result in reproduct uh, in uh, it will involve uh, re it results in the formation of new species so sympatric speciation happens because of the reproductive isolation within the same area and this reproductive isolation can be because of prezygotic or postzygotic barriers prezygotic barrier is a mechanism that blocks reproduction from taking place and this includes barriers that uh, prevent fertilization when the organisms attempt reproduction while post zygotic barriers occurs after the zygote formation this includes organisms that don't survive in the embryonic stage and those that are born uh, are sterile for example here you, you, you can refer Clug and Cummings for these uh, prezygotic mechanisms, reproductive isolation mechanisms and post-zygotic reproductive isolation mechanisms. So you can see here that what are prezygotic mechanisms, geographical or ecological. So the populations live in the same region but they occupy different habitats. Seasonal or temporal, the population live in the same region but are sexually mature at different times behavioral it is in animals only the populations are isolated by different and incompatible behavior before mating mechanical cross fertilization is prevented or restricted by different differences in reproductive structure so they are unable to interbreed physiological gametes fail to survive in alien reproductive tracts so then post zygotic mechanisms involves uh, that zygote is formed but it is not able to um, survive so hybrid non-viability or weakness developmental hybrid sterility segregational hybrid sterility and f2 breakdown so these are some examples of post zygotic mechanisms which happens in allopatric speciation so the species are living in the same area but because of these uh, reproductive isolation mechanisms they do not interbreed. Now last slide is of parapetric speciation which occurs when the part of an environment has been polluted. Say mining activities leave waste with high amounts of metals like lead and zinc. These metals are absorbed in the soil and it prevents most plants from growing. Some grasses such as buffalo grass can tolerate the metals and buffalo grass which is also known as vanilla grass is native to Europe and Asia but is now also found throughout the North and South America. So buffalo grass has become unique species from the grasses that grow in areas not polluted by metals. So this is all about speciation. I hope you have understood it and let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you students.